Welcome to Land Musings. Today is a new pen day and we are going to be unboxing my Platinum 3776 Century in the Laurel Green colour. I have been wanting this one for a while ever since I got my first Platinum 3776 in the Calico colour. Um, which is a celluloid pen. I'll pop the unboxing video here for you. Um, but yeah, ever since I got that pen in the fine, I have wanted another one in the medium nib. And I thought, why not go with this beautiful green shade? So it comes with a blue cartridge. And in the cavity here, we have a warranty card. I'll try to get it to focus here, but... Um, I'm not sure how helpful this is. It is mostly in Japanese. And here we have the 376 Century user manual. I believe the pen does also come with a converter, but it might be inside the pen. I'll just put these manuals back in the cavity and then we'll open up the pen. It's such a beautiful shade of green. I'll bring you closer. My camera is playing up today with the focus, but let's see if we can get that working. Here we go. It's such a lovely shade of green. I'd say it's like a forest green. And what I love about this laurel green shade is with the rhodium plating, I feel like it um, brings out a different shade of green. I think it's on the cooler side when it's got the rhodium plating and it's on the warmer side when it's got the gold plating. I really like the width of these pens as well. They're not too thick and not too thin. I'm just going to slide off this label so we can look at that pen um, in all its glory. I don't know if you can tell but it is slightly transparent so you can see the nib there. And there's no shimmer or glitter particles in there either, so it's quite understated, but in a good way. Just going to open up the pen so you can see the converter. There we go. And it's also got that gold detailing as well. What I'll do is actually use this blue ink that came with the pen. I'm not sure what type of blue it is, but I guess we'll see. Okay, so my camera cut out, but it's okay. The cartridge is in the pen, and I am going to give the pen a go. It is in a medium nib, so I'll be testing it with the Progear Slim in medium fine, a medium nib, the Platinum Century in the fine nib, and a Pilot 823 in the fine nib. And here for the paper, I have a Hobonichi A6 Avec, which has Tomoe River paper. And that is writing really smoothly with no hard starts. And surprisingly, I actually quite like this blue. I'm not usually a fan of blue ink, but I could get used to this one. I'll do a couple figure eights and some lines and some down strokes I can confirm that writes beautifully um, maybe not as wet as my fine nib but that has Pilot Oroshizuku in it so let's give this one a go And as one would expect, this fine nib does have a bit more feedback than the medium. I would say the medium had very little feedback. Um, and I do enjoy feedback, so that is why I always tend to go for the fines. Or in the case of sailors, I do love a medium fine nib. So the fine nib did glide a lot smoother, but that is probably due to the ink. Just going to give my Pilot Custom 823 a go now, which is inked up with Van Diemen's Leatherwood Honey. 
I don't know if you can tell from this angle, but the Pilot Custom 823, uh, the nib is huge. <laughs> it is a lot larger than um, the Platinum 3776. Next, we will compare with my Sailor Pro Gear Slim in the Manu Nuts in a medium nib. And this one is inked up with Diamine Autumn Oak. And I can definitely feel the feedback with this pen. Um, maybe you can hear it too. I just love how this pen writes. It has that um, grey lead feedback feeling and it feels glorious. I forgot to write what nib size my Pilot Custom 823 is so I'll just pop that here. It is a fine nib. And the last pen I'm going to test from my collection here is my Sailor Pro Gear Slim with the medium fine nib and this is in the Grateful Crane colorway. I've probably said this already but this would have to be my favourite uh, nib size, the medium fine in the Pro Gear Slim by Sailor. And I believe this one has the 14k gold nib. Okay, so that's all of the pens I wanted to test today. We've got a mix of fine nibs, medium nibs, and a Sailor medium fine nib. Comparing my two medium pens, I would say that they are quite similar in thickness. But I do recall that the Sailor Pro Gear Slam in medium had a lot more feedback. Yeah, there isn't as much feedback in the Platinum Century 3776, but it does still write beautifully, just I guess a bit more smooth. I'm just going to try the Sailor Pen again so you can maybe hear the feedback. Yeah, it has a bit more of a pencil grey lead feeling that sailors have that we all know and love. In terms of width though, I would say that they are quite similar. Just trying my fine nib again in the platinum pen. This one, again, it has the Pali Roshizuku ink in there, so I think that might be why it glides a lot more smoothly. And it does have that lovely feedback as well. This has got to be one of my favourite pens though, isn't she beautiful? One last look at the Laurel Green Platinum 3776. And I'll bring you closer so you can see the difference in the line widths here. Yeah, the medium is just a touch larger than the fine nib but again that could be the inks that are being used because my fine pen is inked with a wetter ink and that brings us to the end of the video i hope that was helpful i know it would have been for me when i was um, contemplating getting a medium nib uh, platinum pen if you'd like to see more stationery, fountain pens, planners, journals, content, please subscribe. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And thank you so much. See you in the next one. Bye.